Welcome back to another episode of Swamp Stories. This time we head down to LA. Now wait, before you get the chance to comment, bro, nobody cares about LA, this is for the Bay. Stop yourself and redirect your energy to Instagram and go follow the Swamp Stories page. Or better yet, leave a like on the video and subscribe. Anyways, let's talk about LA, specifically South Central, because that's where Draco the Ruler is from. If you're not familiar with Draco the Ruler, he's arguably the biggest underground rapper out of California right now. Draco, whose real name is Daryl Caldwell, grew up in the hundreds. This is a legendary section in LA. Draco was raised as a crip, based on the block he's from. His neighborhood is rowdy, and it's known to be one of the most active areas in LA. As Draco got older, he began his own wave with his friends from his neighborhood. They started calling themselves the Stink Team. They still have their neighborhood affiliations, but they just wanted to have their own style. The Stink Team is officially classified as a street gang by LAPD. The group is made up of Draco the Ruler, his brother Ralphie the Plug, Ketchy the Great, Kells, Bambino, and Seiso the Mac. The group began having notoriety after Draco dropped his debut album, I Am Mr. Mosley. From there, his unique style brought him and the Stink Team to West Coast fame. While all this fame was coming, the Stink Team was living a real street life behind the scenes. But before we get into the beef, let's talk about who they don't have problems with. The Stink Team is cool with the Jordan Downs Projects, also known as Grape Street. This is where the movie Menace to Society was filmed. This legendary hood is where 03 Greedo is from, and that's why you see Draco yelling free 03. The Stink Team is also cool with the Rolling 40s. The 40s are under the Neighborhood Crips umbrella. They're located right below USC campus and the Coliseum. The Stink Team also associates with the East Coast Crips. Not to mean like East Coast New York, rather the East Side of LA. That brings us to who the Stink Team is not cool with. But before we get into all that, let me run the intro. Let me be honest, the Stink Team has beef with the whole LA. They're really the top ops of Southern California. Their main and first opposition is the Inglewood families, which is located in Inglewood, obviously, right by the Chargers new stadium. The Inglewood families go by IFGB, and they are one of the oldest established gangs in LA. They're the guys who wear red, you know, the Bloods. IFGB has been rivals with the neighborhood Crips and Rolling 40s for decades. Inglewood family is represented by famous rappers Frosty the Snowman and Rucci. Frosty the Snowman got famous with his hit songs You Dig and Milwaukee Bucks. All of this takes me to a tragic incident in 2016. December 10th, 2016. There's a naughty pajama party in Carson, California. Both Inglewood family and the Stink Team decide to show up. Draco the Ruler and Stink Team members are outside the party chilling by their cars. That's when they notice their rivals from Inglewood family. An IFGB top member Davion Gregory, who goes by Red Bull, walks out of the party with Arizona Cardinals wide receiver Travis Broom. Draco notices and turns around to his group and says, let's get out of here. Then Red Bull and Travis Boom walk by the stink team. That's when shots start flying from a man behind a black Mercedes SUV. Davion Gregory would be hit multiple times with a 40 and a 38. He would pass away at the scene. LAPD would check the security cameras from around the area and find a black Mercedes fleeing the scene. After internet research, an investigator would find the same car in Draco's music video. It was his most recent music video called Chunky Monkey, and you see him driving around in the black Mercedes. In that same video, they would also see a 40 and a 38. That would be all the evidence they needed to arrest Draco the Ruler and the Stink Team. Here is where things get interesting. LAPD decided to do some sneaky stuff. They would put all the stick team in different cells and they would assign them with fake cellmates. What do I mean by that? Well, their cellmates were undercover cops pretending to be criminals. The undercover cops would wear wires to see what kind of information they could get out of them. Well, that would be a smart move, but I have no idea how that's legal. Like, there's no way you should be able to do that. Anyways, Stink Team and Rolling 40s member Too Shitty would tell a cellmate that Jaden Boyd was the one who did it. Jaden Boyd goes by AB, so technically he said AB did it, but investigators were able to figure it out anyways. Mind you, Jaden Boyd was not even being investigated for it in the first place. Well, that would change because those comments by his friend would get him arrested. 
And also, because of those comments, LAPD would start giving out deals to more members who were willing to speak up. They were throwing football numbers at Draco and his crew. I'm talking about 20 years, 30, 40, 50, and more. That would be unless they would speak up and tell names. Well, everyone would stay solid except one. Draco the ruler's right-hand man who goes by Solo would take a deal with the police. They would offer to drop his charges and let him walk free if he gave up information and he would tell them everything they needed. He would tell investigators that the whole stink team was at Draco's house on Aviation Boulevard before the party. He said that Draco found the pajama party on social media and that he wanted to pull up. He said they drove to the party in five cars, with Draco leading the way in his black Mercedes. Sola says they're all chilling at their cars when Too Shitty tells them that he sees Inglewood families in the party. Then, Solo says he sees Red Bull walk by their car. He says that Draco the ruler would say, let's get out of here. Then he says he heard shots coming from his way and he took cover. He says he saw Stink Team member Kells busting his 40 and he saw AB busting his 38. That's when they took the whole Stink Team down. When you hear rappers say watch your homies and that it'll be the closest ones to you that'll burn you, it's nothing but the truth. Here's how it would play out in court. Draco was able to hang jury twice on the murder charge, and he would only end up facing possession charges. Everyone assumed that he was in the clear, but then the judge would demand a retrial. So Draco would remain locked up for a few more years. This move by the judge was very controversial, and many people thought it was injustice. Well, Draco was finally able to get out in 2020. Things wouldn't turn out so well for his associates though. His friend and fellow Stink Team rapper Kells ended up getting life without parole. It seems that Jaden Boyd, also known as AB, is still facing his charges to this day. And then that brings us to Solo, the rat. Well, Solo would end up going free after he testified, and now he's tucking his tail out of state somewhere under witness protection. So now that Draco is out free, he has come back harder than ever. He has dropped four albums and he has gotten more famous across the country. That being said, the beef sadly is still going on, and it may have gotten crazier than before. Inglewood family rapper Frosty the Snowman and AZ Chike are now rocking together. Let's talk about Inglewood family for a second. They are wild because their top member Red Boy Capone would deface the Nipsey Hustle mural and post it up to the internet. <laughs> you gotta come really, you see that? You gotta come really do that to me. You can't write that on the wall, Capone. Oh, <laughs> sick, so crib. You can't write that on the wall. You gotta come really. Ooh, that decision would end up costing him in a major way. July 8th, 2021. Capone's best friend, Indian Red Boy, would be sitting in his car on 139th Avenue. He would go on live with Capone, and that's when tragedy would occur. While on Instagram Live, you would see him hit 16 times and he would pass away right in front of your eyes. The Instagram video would go viral. The saddest part about it is that just a day later, Capone would go on Instagram Live, smiling, acting like nothing happened the day before. <laughs> hey, like, what's up, man? Hey, you know it's crazy when I was in the bounty blood on the dead homies, all the Mexicans be like, man, I was in there, I was in the dorm with Frosty, fool. Oh, yeah, they was like, he was rapping his shit. That fool was getting down, fool. Oh, God. <laughs> uh. I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt and assume that this was his coping mechanism and that he still hadn't processed what happened yet. Either that, or he's so desensitized to violence that it's just another day in his life. Either way, it's extremely sad, and it just reminds you that this whole street lifestyle is a giant waste of time because it won't give you the love you think it will. Your friends might just act like you were never important in the first place. So you'll end up risking your life all for what? I know the music is cool and it's the trend now to be reckless, but realistically, no kid should be looking up to that. The senseless drama would continue though. Draco the Ruler would drop a song called Ingle Weird, dissing both AZ Chike and Frosty the Snowman. Oh yeah, that and the title, Ingleweird. Now, Draco has beef with the entire city of Inglewood. Interestingly enough, the next day Draco would be taking an Uber in LA. The Uber would get pulled over and Draco would be taken to jail. He was on Instagram Live when it happened. You're getting detained for 148, delaying my investigation. What is your investigation? I already told y'all, 10 windows. I don't have an ID. I'm gonna over, bro, to pick up my son, bro. Literally. By that, I'm gonna have all units respond. North my Bell son is in the car, bro. This is crazy, bro. bro. So what? Why are y'all pulling me? What did I do for y'all to put me? Y'all pulling over an Uber driver, bro. What is going on? He said that he pulled him over for tent windows. This is an Uber driver, bro. Man, I'm 
I'm on live, bro. I'm on live, bro. I don't have nothing on me, bro. I'm on live, bro. What are y'all doing, bro? Oh, what are you talking about, bro? Don't fight us. Don't fight us, man. What are y'all doing, bro? What are y'all doing? I'm on live, bro. Hold up, bro. Hold up. What are y'all doing, bro? Draco seemed to think that there was some snitching going on behind the scenes. So how is it that all the niggas that don't like us was on the streets and we all went to jail? <laughs> In response to Draco's diss, AZ Chike would drop a stink team diss song. August 10th, 2021. Frosty the Snowman and Inglewood family would be outside on North La Brea Boulevard. It was their hood day, which is a day every year where neighborhoods in LA get together and celebrate life. The Bay Area just started doing it this year when the jungle Marin City started the trend. Anyways, the whole Inglewood family is outside having a good time. That's when a car pulls up and lets off. Frosty would be hit multiple times. He would survive though. Well, more breaking news at this hour, this time in Inglewood where police are investigating a double shooting. Desmond Shaw in Sky 2, live overhead with more. Des? Yeah, Pat, we're here at La Brea near Sentinella where the shooting took place. Looks like it's Inglewood PD and LAPD uh, investigating this right on the border of LA and Inglewood. Uh, there was a, a shooting here. Two people sent to the hospital in critical condition. His close friend Darby would sadly not make it. Frosty would go on live after to show everyone that he made it through and he would sadly talk about the loss of his friend Darby. Trigger finger ain't fucked up. Oh, my legs hurt though. Ugh. D2B, yeah, on F Street, my dingling still work on flaming. Dead homies, y'all ain't gotta worry about that on F Street. FIP Darby though in the hood. I know, I, oh, I know blood wanna be right here next to me. We'll be going up on live right now, me and Darby. Now, let me give you a couple updates on the stink team. The Stink Team has added a new rapper named Remble, and he is absolutely blowing up right now. Also, rest in peace to Stink Team member Ketchy the Great. He recently passed away after a car crash. I want to close out the episode by saying this. The whole California from Oakland down to LA, all this politics and beef is clown time, legitimately. Other regions are coming together and getting a bag, while California rappers are all beefing with each other, losing their lives or going to jail. You have nothing to prove. No one ever wonders, is Lil Baby's hood up on the score? Matter of fact, most of these gangster rappers aren't even from the hood to begin with. We have former correctional officers rapping about the streets. Like everyone needs to realize that all of this should be entertainment at the end of the day. Just go get a bag. Also, I need to address something. Hip Hop Daily, I understand that you want to expand to covering the west coast, but you're literally repeating everything I say while using my visuals. I respect the hustle, but at least reach out. And also, you guys who say my information is fake, Hip Hop Daily literally repeated exactly what I said, and I didn't see a single soul in his comment saying that too. And on that note, I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe, and have a blessed day. Also, let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you want to see next.